There's Danny. What's up? Here we go, <laughs> here Trader we, Joe's. Trader Joe's, you guys. We are sitting here in the parking lot right now, getting ready to head in. A little bit nervous because we haven't been here since they put their big old white sign saying no filming inside. Yeah, I guess it says like no video recording devices or something like that. So we'll so, see. I'm gonna try to go incognito. Might get more photos of the food. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. see. We'll see. We'll try to see what we can get, but if it's, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to go in. We're going to find some of our favorites, some of our regular things. There are a few things that we want to pick up that are newer, but our budget today is to stay within, uh, stay within or under a hundred dollars. Yes. We're going so. with a hundred dollar budget and we are serious about it because we've <laughs> also no got, joke. no joke. We've also got two other hauls coming up later this week you guys so i didn't even saving. know there was two coming yes we're going back to back we're saving oh. we're saving our budget for those bigger hauls but we just want because we haven't come in so long we want to get our trader joe's favorites yeah we got to get our staples you guys so we're going to go in here we're going to try to get as much as we can on camera we'll see um but we're definitely coming out with food so let's do this you guys so we are in and you guys they even have like security at the door we've detected so we're gonna be incognito might not be able to show you as much but we are filling up this cart you guys we are so excited I don't know why there's something about Trader Joe's that just gets me so excited so here we go Trader Joe's this cart's filling up and I'm gonna tell you right now there's some mac and cheese All right, guys, so we are gonna go try the samples right, right now. Down. We are literally incognito, you guys. Seriously, they're really nice. We still got our haul. <laughs> we still got our haul. We didn't get as much talking time in, but. Serious. You know what? What is? Oh my god. I kind of felt like a teenager, like breaking the rules, like the oh, whole time. Man. I'm like, oh, man. Dude, are we gonna get in trouble? <laughs> so we made it out. We Woo. didn't get a ton of footage in there as we guys as we warned you guys that we probably wouldn't be able to get too too much for you. But we did get a bunch of groceries and we did stay within budget, which yes. is like woo -hoo! woo! We actually stayed under budget. We actually did. We actually stayed under budget, you guys. But I feel like we got a lot for our money, which is how I always feel when we come to Trader Joe's. We usually get quite a bit for not too much money. Yeah, and it felt good to be back there, you guys. But it was a little weird not being able to talk to everyone while we're in the store. Like, yeah. got, I got a couple little clips, but literally, just, just like wasn't quick the same clips. Vibes. Yeah. yeah it's, so it's it's too bad because we love you guys. Know we love Trader Joe's, and we don't want to go against their policy too much. So but we um, literally are trying to drive drive traffic to the store. Yeah. We're sharing all of the things that we love about Trader Joe's, sharing the things that we buy as a family of seven, and so... And a huge thing about Trader Joe's, and let's just... Because for those of you who haven't seen our other hauls at Trader Joe's or any, the atmosphere is a big part of it. Like, yeah. being in the store and seeing where things are and seeing how it's kind of laid out, I feel like for those people who haven't been into Trader Joe's, that that is, like, an important thing for you guys to see because I know if I'm walking into... I hate walking into new stores and not knowing where anything is at, so... That is a lot of the reason why we like to show you guys what's in the stores, where things are at, where we pick them up at, different things like that. Um, so unfortunately this time we couldn't, but we do have a lot of Trader Joe's hauls that you guys can go check it out where yes. we were literally just filming and it was fine. Yes. Like it wasn't a big deal. So anyways, you guys, we are gonna head home. We're gonna show you guys everything we got and I'm excited, you guys, because we got a lot of our staples back into the fridge. And then we still have some more hauls coming up this week as well. So sure. we're excited. Here we go. We're headed home. All right. Hey, you guys. What is up? We made it back home. Got all of our stuff inside. It's actually really easy because this is not like a huge haul, but I still feel like we got pretty Yeah, we did pretty good. Things. Yeah, I feel like Trader Joe's is so easy for us, you guys, because we can get in and get out because we know exactly what we want. And a lot of the time we'll see like the new stuff that we want to grab, so we'll just grab that too. And it's like, we're in and out. So it's kind of nice. Especially today, because there was like no talking. <laughs> yeah, we were like, rrr, rrr, get it, get it, get it. So we're gonna get started, you guys. And um, since there's not like a crazy amount of items, we're actually gonna give you guys the prices of each item so you guys kind of know how much each item is. So let's get started. I think we're gonna start on 
the chips. All right, you guys, so you guys know we love these organic white corn tortilla chips. Ooh, I have missed these. The oh. These are the best, you guys. They're really, 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 really good. I do wish they filled the bag up a little, <laughs> yes. little more than that. Looks like we got uh, one bag, two bags equals one bag. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, hence the two bags, because these won't last very long at all. And I think these are, these were $1.99 each, right? No, those are no. Um, $2.69 a bag. Oh, $2.69. So there you go, $2.69 per bag. Not horrible. Now we normally, when, when whenever we do our massive Trader Joe's hauls, we actually get like three or four bags. Yeah, because these are these are the bomb chips, you guys. They're really good, and you can tell the difference. Yes, and they're so good. The they're so good that the kids will actually eat these without anything without anything yeah. in their lunch yeah they'll just pack it up and boom bam done so two bags of those all right next up you guys we got the white cheddar corn puffs aka pirates boot hey so Evelyn loves these these are just like a good little snack to throw in their lunches or have after school these don't last very long either though so yeah whenever we go grocery shopping we seriously look at certain items and we have a particular kid in, in mind. mind yeah and so with the pirate's booty i only think of emberlin yeah when with the tortilla chips i think of myself oh, my and i think of elijah oh yeah elijah likes them. well ethan likes those too yeah with yeah. the guac so. so yeah so these ones will mo mostly be for emberlin i mean other people will snack on it too but she's like this is like her thing and these were how much those were 199 199 that's not bad I don't feel like that's bad. No, and if you're in Vegas, there's no tax. Yeah, there's no tax. So it's legit $1.99. So there's that. And then we also got, keeping with our uh, little uh, theme of chips, we've got nacho cheese tortina chips, which Danny loves these. Oh, loves, so good. Loves, loves these. I already we're said to we're trying to stay within budget. But we could have. We could have because. Because we were under budget. Yes. So. But I've, I've already been saying, like, I am going to have those crumpled up on top of some mac and cheese tonight. Ooh, oh. That sounds so good, because their mac and cheese is bomb.com. Yes, guys, it is. Which I'll show that to you in a minute. But one bag of this, this will be gone tonight. Danny's going to eat all of these tonight. I no, guess. I am not. No? No. Okay, we'll see. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'll take a picture of the empty bag. <laughs> okay. Well, there was one other thing you did once where I was like, I'm not going to eat it. You're like, oh, I'm going to take a picture. Oh, well, Do you remember it. that? Comment down below, any of you true oh. fan bammers, if you know what that was, where she was like testing I think it was me. You were sleeping. I'll take a picture of you sleeping. Oh, never and we mind. We did, and we posted it on Instagram. Really? Yeah. It wasn't about some food no, or something. No, I think it was. Oh. It, was, it was you sleeping. Someone knows. One of you true fan bammers, comment down yeah. below and let us know and re refresh our memories. Refresh our memory. It was something, but I, I want to say it was the sleeping. I was like, I'll get a picture of you when you're asleep. Oh, like okay. I can't remember. Anyways. So there's those. How much were these? Those were $1.99. $1.99. Whoop, whoop. All right, next up, you guys, we got some mini beef tacos. Ooh, ooh. So these are good, just little snack. Ethan, we had Ethan in mind when we bought these because he absolutely loves these. They also have them in chicken, which we've never tried, but the cashier lady said that they were really good with the chicken too. So maybe next time we'll grab two boxes. I think we have got the chicken. We have purchased have the chicken for Ethan before because the blue box... Looks very looked very familiar, oh. and I think that's where we first were introduced to the mini tacos. Were through the chicken? Through the chicken, yes. Uh, I can't remember. But I beef, you got the beef. But beef looks so good. Yeah, beef is probably delicious. I bet team Ethan will probably have some of these tonight too. So um, I don't know how many is in here. And the reason why we're saying all these different things tonight is because it's a free for all dinner tonight. Yeah, it's a free for all dinner because we had to go grocery shopping, and instead of going and going through a drive-thru and getting food that way. <laughs> we'll just, I guess we'll just eat some of the stuff we bought. So anyways, that's what we're doing tonight. Just kind of free for all in it. And I'm guaranteeing Ethan will probably grab some of these. So how much were these? Uh, those were, the mini beef tacos were $4.29. $4.29, kind of expensive guys. That's a little bit more. Yeah, how many how many tacos is that? I don't know, it doesn't say. But they're mini, they're little, and this is a little box. You can look so. at the serving sizes. So there's 24 mini tacos in here. Okay. Which doesn't seem know. like too many. No. Maybe we're used to like Costco. We're, we're used to the big Costco boxes. So anyways, that won't last long, but still delicious. 
All right, you guys, you know we cannot make a trip to Trader Joe's without grabbing some of the crunchy cookie butter that we love there so much. Oh. We actually haven't had this in a while because Ember it's been forever since we've been and we ate through it pretty quick. Yeah, and Emberlyn and I went to the cupboard the other day because we were like, oh, let's just get some bread and cookie butter. And we're like, we're out. No oh. cookie butter. And it's so good. A lot of you guys ask what cookie butter, what cookie butter is, and it's reminiscent of gingerbread and made with crushed biscuit. So, so good. It's good. They have the crunchy and they have the smooth, but we like the crunchy. The crunchy is really good. So, how much is the cookie butter? The cookie butter is so it's three sixty nine. Three sixty nine. Not too bad. I mean, it's just a little container, but it lasts for quite a while. Oh, totally. So, anyways, we got one of those. And then we also got, we have not had this in forever, and Emberlin is going to be so happy that we got these. It's the Super Sweet Organic Corn Frozen. It's in the frozen section, and it is it's the delicious. Next, and it's the next best thing to corn on the cob. It really is, you guys. It's so good. I just put it with a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt, boom, bam, done. It's, it's so good. And this like, was so, so good. first introduced to us by How Inez Rolls. Yes, she did. She told us all about this. So you guys, amazing. And you, I absolutely love it. And, and you, they're not that much. I think they're like a dollar something. Um, the corn is a dollar seventy nine a a bag. That's not horrible. No. No, because one of these, I know these don't look that big, but one will feed our whole family because our. Not. I would say two time. now. I think our our serving sizes went up. We're like barely making meals with seconds. Like no seconds. No, but I feel left. like with corn though, like not everybody eats oh, corn. Oh, okay. So usually one serving is fine and they'll have like salad or whatever on the side instead. Right. Because I think me, Emberlyn, we, not very many people eat the corn. I do, Ashlyn does. Yeah. Me and I don't Emberlyn. Know. Yeah. It's like four of us. So anyways, we got two bags of those. So there's those. And then we also got, of course you guys know, we always pick up the Almond Breeze um almond milk so we just got the chocolate though you guys because that's what our kids will drink so we got the chocolate almond milk and we got three of them when we so. start making some more smoothies and and things like that then we'll get the um like the vanilla sweetened yes. um, almond milk yeah but we just haven't been doing it lately so well and when we've been getting them the kids haven't really been drinking it right so we're gonna just yeah, we'll take a break from that and just do the chocolate for now. And then they have like regular milk they can drink if they want. And these, you guys, are $1.99 each. So not too bad, not too bad. They're 32 fluid ounces. So I didn't think that was horrible. So there's those. And then we also got some avocados, which Ooh. you guys know, avocados are kind of expensive. So there were, these were $5.99 for four. I think those were $4.99. Or $4.99. All right, so these are actually $4.99. I said $5.99, but they're $4.99 for four of them. It's kind of expensive, but you guys know avocados are expensive, I feel like, no matter where you go. So, anyways, we got some of those because the kids love it. They love it on their toast. They love it just plain. So, we got that to hold us over till our next haul, just for a little bit. So, there's that. And then we also got some chicken fried rice. Ooh, you guys love know. it. This is our staple, literally ready in about five minutes. I put it in some olive oil on just like a frying pan. Cook it up that way. I'll probably add some eggs to it. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit of chicken if we have chicken. And boom, bam, done. It's I was just going to say that I love when you add the eggs. Yeah, the eggs bulk it up. So the eggs, I mean, there's eggs inside of here, but it's not very much. No. So we usually do add eggs. And then I'll do some like soy sauce. <gasps> Kids love it. Wow. It's still, well, Daddy loves it too, obviously. So good. He's drooling, 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 drooling. Drooling. Drooling back there. We actually got three. I told Daddy I was going to get two. He's like, no, get three. <laughs> I was like, okay. Because, like, honestly, uh, we are, when it comes to, like, orange chicken, fried rice, I feel like our family, like, the guy, the, everyone goes in for seconds. Yeah. And lately we've been like, hold up, wait, make sure so-and-so eats first. Yeah, like, all the little ones, the younger kids are starting to want seconds. Yes. And so it's, yeah, you guys, it's hard feeding a big family, like, and knowing how much to gauge for them to eat. Because the meals that they really, really like, they want more and more and more. Yes. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm even going to have to up my goulash, like... Serious. Because that goes pretty quick too. So. And if any of you are new, 
and you hear little walking in the background. That's Those dogs. are dogs, That's and dogs. they only do this when the camera's on. So we just want to let you they know. They just know they hate us. There's nothing we could do about it. There's <laughs> nothing us. we could do about nope. it. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh yeah. Welcome to the fam bam. <laughs> what? Well, keep is, going. No, I'm not keeping going. Welcome keep going. to the fam bam. Comment down below. <laughs> oh, get your no. mic out. Get your mic that's out. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Wait, we didn't say what the price was for the chicken. The, the chicken fried rice was two ninety nine a bag. Two ninety nine a bag, you guys. Not horrible if you're considering two bags. That's about four dollars to feed our family for one night. Of rice. Unless we do all three. Yeah, of rice. That doesn't include like if we put like fruit or whatever on the side. So there's that. And then of course you guys know we cannot make a trip to Trader Joe's without the mandarin orange chicken. Oh, Two bags of this. So good. It's so good, you guys. Costco's we love, Winco's we love. This we haven't had mess, this so. in a while though, so I have uh -uh. a feeling we're gonna notice the difference. We're gonna notice the difference, for sure. And the best way to cook this, you guys, is in the oven. Make it crunchy. A lot of you guys have said try the air fryer. I'm sure it would be just as good in the air fryer. So we could probably try that too. But it's basically just chicken. It has the orange, um, the orange sauce inside of it. Heat it up, pour it on, boom, bam, done, delicious. And then you know you can always, any leftover right. sauce, we don't always put all of the sauce on the chicken. No, we, I saved some of that. And then we drizzle it over the rice. It's oh, oh, so good. It's good. Basmati rice is the best rice with this. It's so yummy. So there's those. And these are, these are a little bit more, guys. I think they're like. Those are four ninety nine yeah, a bag. A bag. So we're talking 10 bucks for both of these. Yeah. So it's worth it though, you guys. It's really delicious. Bananas, we got us some bananas. 25 cents each, so it was $1.50 for all of these, which is a pretty dang good price. Yeah, so it is. We got those. We also got some Z-Bars, you guys know we love Ooh. our Z-Bars. We normally buy them from Costco in the big thing, and it comes in like three different flavors. Well, they had them like individually there at Trader Joe's, and we grabbed 10 of the best kind, the iced oatmeal cookie. Oh, so, so good. So those are 79 cents a bar. Yeah, 79 cents. Mm. That's not bad. I don't know. They're good though, you guys. These are really good. The kids will eat these, and I just like them. I really, really like those. So we got ten of those. And it would, like Tina said, it was good to be able to get like the flavor we wanted. Yeah. So I wish, like, I know some of you guys sent me a picture of some at Target that had boxes of six oh. with just like the specific, oh, the specific uh, flavors. So you can get them in smaller boxes, like by themselves, but they didn't have them there like that. And Costco only has it in like the multi flavors. So. Let us know if Amazon has like a case, oh, a case package. That's what we should do. Yeah, that, Amazon. That could be good. Next up, one of the best things at Trader Joe's that we absolutely love, and actually, I think Inez turned us on to these as well. Ooh. The mac and cheese. Ooh. And it has to be this mac and cheese, you guys. The frozen mac and cheese. I want to say they have another one. I can't remember. I don't know. We might have tried it before. Like maybe it has like, I want to say it has like green chilies in it. Or oh, something. that's good. Is it? Yes. No, this is better though. Oh. This is the best. But there was another one we got from somewhere that had like um, Parmesan crumbles on top. Ooh, and it was a black was box. Where was I that? I can't tell if it was like Costco, Sam's Club, or Winco or, or Winco or Walmart or Target or Vons. <laughs> I All can't those tell which one. True fan wow. bammer. True fan bammer question. Which one? Which store was it? I where, don't even know. Where we got the mac and cheese with the crispies on top. And you guys could literally say any store, and I would be like, Yeah, you're probably right. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. that was good. That was good. Yeah. So you guys, we only got three of these, but we always tell you guys when we get this, these are literally enough for two people. Yes. Because they are so filling and. Yeah, they're good. Like our kids, they could split this and be fine. Well, some of our kids. Do you guys notice how long Tina's hair is getting oh, and how beautiful right. it looks? Yeah, Nanny. Yeah, Nanny. Oh. You cut it again already. Wow, I don't I know. I'm kind of kind of liking it. I'm well, kind of liking it, you guys. I think it. I just need to cut a couple inches off. There's just My something hair grows about. So fast. There's just something you know, about so when like you mac curl and your hair. And we got three of those. You guys, there's just and something then, about it when also, Tina. There's like, oh, these are 360 calories. There's just something about when Tina curls her hair. 
Did you just sneeze? At you? <laughs> All right, so there you go, three of those. So we picked up a couple boxes of these that we absolutely love. This strawberry walks into a bar. They're amazing. So good. Ashlyn actually really loves these. So we grabbed some of these for her to snack on, to have for like after soccer practice, before soccer practice, lunch, whenever she wants them. So there's six bars in here and they also have apple and I believe blueberry. Is that like a well. Trader Joe's brand or? Yeah, it is. Okay, so comment down below if you guys want us to do Trader Joe's brand versus another store's brand Ooh. like another store's generic brand so we could do like trader joe's versus walmart which is great value or we could do trader joe's versus winco brand comment down below which one you guys would want us to do versus trader joe's yeah or we could do uh why were you laughing because of how you were saying it trader joe's versus walmart or trader joe's versus <laughs> No one gets to see all the excitement behind the camera, only me. <laughs> so, we could do Trader Joe's versus Whole Foods. Ooh, that would be an expensive comparison. Yes, it would. Um, but we still need to do our Walmart. First Target. Yeah, Walmart brand versus Target brand. So, Ooh. we haven't forgotten, you guys. We are still doing that. So, those ones are fun. Yes. The name brand ones are way fun. So, anyways, grab some of those. Those are delicious. We love them. And they are how much? They are $1.99 a box. Not bad. I don't feel like that's that bad. Well, so. considering that she eats them, it's okay. Yeah. Like, because yes. it's the worst when you buy stuff and then like they leave they them or they don't want it or yeah. eh. So I'm totally fine with it because she actually loves those. Yeah, and these are good. They're delicious. So anyways, we got two bags of those. And then this is also, this is like an Ashland themed thing. I mean, everyone's welcome to it, but these are just the people who like them the most probably, but everyone will have some. Um, roasted seaweed snacks. That's mm. Ashland, all Ashland right there. I showed it to her, she's like. <gasps> are those like sheets of seaweed? Yes. Okay, I, I actually like those. As long as they're salted, no. I'm okay with it. That's so gross. Never, no. no. Mm-mm. Nasty. Comment down below if you're like a sushi, California roll type of person. I am. I am not. So, Ashton will have a heyday with those and I don't think anybody's gonna bother her about it. And those are, let me see, those are 99 cents a pack. 99 cents. We probably could have grabbed another one, but, you know, budget, I guess. Okay, next up, you guys, this is actually something Ashlyn tried out at a friend's house and she absolutely loved them. So we were like, oh my gosh. And she let me have a taste of them too. I'm like, these are really, actually really good. So they're the little ramen soup thingy, majiggies, whatever you want to call them. Chicken flavor. Cups. And, yeah, cups. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> chicken flavor, instant ramen soup cups. You got chicken flavor and then you got, I don't know, miso? Misu. Misu. So, miso soup? Miso soup. Miso soup. Miso soup. Miso soup. Me too. <laughs> okay, wow. So we got those. We got six of these, you guys, because these were like dollar forty nine each. A dollar forty nine each, which seems like mm, kind of a lot for just these little things, especially when you can go buy a pack of ramen. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like nothing. How much are the ramen cups, though? I don't know. They're... I don't know how much the cups are. Okay, but... they're a little bit more than the packages, I think. Yeah, but honestly, you guys, these are really good. Like, I don't like ramen noodles, like the regular ramen. These were really yummy. Legit. Yeah, legit. So we got six of those, three of each kind. And then we also got some romaine heart lettuce. And um, you guys, believe it or not, the one we bought from Costco, if you watched our Costco haul, it's like comes with like a bun. I think it was Costco or was it Sam's? I can't remember. It was one of them where we bought, maybe it was Sam's, where we bought like the big pack of it. I was like, ugh, I, I bet some of this is gonna go bad. It didn't. Like we literally used it all up. What'd you use it for? We used it on BLTs. We used it on hamburgers. We used it for like any like salad type things that we made. We literally went through it all. Wow. Yeah. So I was actually impressed because I didn't know if we were going to. Oh, you know what I used it for too? A lot of it for was when I made the um, chicken, the salsa chicken um, taco night where oh, we okay. did like the taco salads. I just chopped it up and had like had it like a salad. Oh, nice. And all the kids had it that way too. So it was actually really good. So this actually, to me, I'm like at first, I'd be like, oh, will we get through it? Like literally we'll use this. So totally that. worth it. And that totally was worth it. 229 a bag. 229 and it's organic. So that's probably why it's a little bit more. So 
Definitely the place to go to buy it though, if you use a lot of it is Sam's Club or Costco. So this is just like a tiny little wham, you know? So there's that. And then last but not least, we got us some peaches. Oh yeah. So first thing walking in, this is what was at the door. And these are, these were $5.99 for this whole box, which I didn't think was too bad no. considering they're peaches and peaches are usually pretty spendy. Um, the peaches we got from, where did we get those peaches from the last time? I think Costco. Costco? They're just so much bigger. Everything's bigger at Costco. Yeah. So these are like tiny little wham whams, you know, but. No way. I look at those as no waste. No, but I didn't waste the other ones either. Those were good. They were good. Those were really good peaches. And Ashlyn actually really likes peaches with her oatmeal in the morning. In the morning. And yeah, so we just grabbed another box. They probably won't last long, but we're doing another haul this week. So boom. Another two. Another two. Two hauls, you guys. Are you ready for that? Oh, oh. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Woo. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Serious. Woo. So there you guys go. There's our Trader Joe's haul with prices. We showed you guys what we got for literally under to, under a hundred dollars. I know, and I know you guys are probably so proud of us for sticking within budget because <laughs> we don't do that very often. That so. all of that costs ninety one dollars and thirty nine cents. Which that's pretty good for the amount of stuff we got. I feel like. That's pretty good. I mean, consider. I mean, we didn't get like a lot of the normal produce and stuff that we get, or bread and stuff like that. But like we said, we're doing two more hauls this week, so we're gonna get all of that stuff, stuff for recipes, lasagna, and all that stuff at the stores coming up. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a lot of good stuff. So comment down below. I would like to know from this haul any of these items. Which item are you gonna get the next time you go to Trader Joe's? Ooh. That's you what guys I would gotta like try to something new. We always, when we do these Trader Joe's hauls, we always try to pick up something new that maybe we haven't tried before. This time it was kind of these, I'm gonna say, because no one's really had these except Ashlyn and I. Oh, and I had a taco kit that I put back. Oh, it was $10, did. the true. taco kit. Yeah. If you've ever had it, let us know, because I am so, Danny so was curious. Really I was like, want, okay, yes. that would have put us over budget, though, I know. because that was 10 bucks. But I wanted my chips Danny and stuff. Danny parted ways with it. Yes. Yeah, Danny parted ways. He put his priorities first and got the chips. So. Yes. And the taco pack, I think, was only good for six tacos. Yes, six tacos. So we were thinking, like, Danny and I for lunch or whatever, and... Um, yeah, it was just too much. Maybe next time we'll pick that up and try it out and see how it is. For sure. So, all right, you guys. So that is it. But real quick before we leave, you guys, go follow us on Instagram. We have a giveaway going on right now over on Instagram. Go check it out. It's our Panda Pop um, giveaway. And there's a $100 Visa gift card in there, you guys, that we are giving away. So go enter that. Um, it's going to end here pretty quick. So make sure you're following us over there. We do giveaways. We do all sorts of stuff over there on Instagram. So go follow us. It's all in the description down below, and that's it from us, you guys, today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, choose your day. day.